First tonight at 10, an escaped inmate still on the run in Lansing, Kansas. According to prison authorities, we contacted them within just the last half hour. The last possible sighting of Michael Strode was near Woody's gas station at 4-H in Maine. That's about a mile south of the Lansing Correctional Facility where he just walked away this morning. He was reported wearing a navy blue Dickie style uniform, a blonde wig and a green or yellow construction vest. Today's search also put the school district on a precautionary lockout for all schools. But as KSHB 41 News reporter Megan Abundance learned, it's a safety measure the school has already gone through after various incidents at Lansing over the last few years. Lansing, Kansas, a town of about 12,000, known to hold the state's main prison. Even though there was a prison break, neighbors say it's a typical Tuesday. <laughs> Never been too worried about anything happening, but you know, it's always good to be safe. This is the minimum security unit where Michael Strode walked away from. He's been in and out of custody for the last two decades and was most recently incarcerated for a drug conviction last year. He was serving a nine year sentence. Well, I got my uh, nine millimeter on the table in there, so I'm no problem. Doesn't bother me at 77. I don't care. Just don't bother me. <laughs> Sarah Von Bargan says she knows the pattern of Lansing. I grew up in Lansing. I've been here my whole life, so it's just kind of a normal occurrence. I can't tell you how many times uh, as a kid we had like lockdowns at school and stuff, so maybe I'm a little bit desensitized to it, but we're just kind of out here doing our normal thing. We do know um, that most of the time somebody gets out, you know, they're trying to get away. Um, it doesn't it doesn't really impact our day. The Lansing School Superintendent Dan Russell knows the drill too. Well, it, it's that way about three blocks. Now, two weeks into the new school year, they had a lockout. Nobody in, nobody out. That happened a couple times last year also. He gave the all clear to send students home as normal after talking with their SROs, emergency preparedness staff, sending parents the escapees picture, and adding extra staff for students walk home. This is probably the the most safe that they'll be any day walking home. In Lansing, I'm Megan Abundas, KSHB 41 News.